participants are requested to mute their self. Everybody is on board now? Yes, sir. Should we start? Yes, sir. We should. Uh, good morning and uh, I welcome everybody here. Uh, well, this uh, webinar series is the first uh, web uh, webinar series being uh, organized by Pushpa Gujarat Science City and jointly with the Punjab Pollution Control Board as a part of the celebration of the World Environment Day. Uh, this year, uh, the theme of the World Environment Day is Celebrate Biodiversity, which uh, resonates well with the current times. Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, COVID pandemic, uh, and this is now well established that there is an interlinkage of the pandemic and biodiversity loss. So I think we as a society need to learn new ways of seeing the world, new practices and behaviors that uh, make biodiversity conservation possible. So we are going to hold this uh, series of webinars on 5th and 5th June yeah. also. And uh, uh, today we have with us uh, a very eminent personality uh, as the lead speaker of this uh, webinar. And it is really an honor uh, to welcome Shri Hem Pandey, uh, IES retired. He's a former secretary of the Ministry of Consumer Thank Affairs, you, as well as he, he was former chairman of uh, uh, National Biodiversity Authority. Uh, I also welcome uh, our uh, worthy Director General, Dr. Meerima Jarrett, uh, uh, who is uh, with us, and I would request her to uh, formally welcome our uh, lead speaker as well as uh, give introductory remarks. Thank you. Mute me, unmute. As Dr. Grover has just now informed us, this is the Ma'am, you are muted. Ma'am, you are muted. Ma'am, you are not audible. Ma'am, your mic is muted. Ma'am, your mic is not Unmute. Ma'am, your mic Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, once again, a very good morning, everybody. It is indeed a great pleasure for us that we are starting this webinar series today with a very, very eminent personality, Mr. Haim Pandey. Uh, we have teachers, children, and uh, uh, certain other experts in who have joined us today. Uh, well, friends, just like um, Dr. Grover informed us just now that the theme of World Environment Day 2020 is biodiversity. And as we know, biodiversity is a concern which is not only very urgent, it's also very, very essential for us. The emergence, we all know that we are suffering from the COVID pandemic and uh, the, the emergence of this pandemic has actually made us understand that when we destroy biodiversity, when we destroy the system which supports human life, we destroy our ecology, our economy, and we have to get down into lockdowns. It is estimated, friends, that ab about 75% of the diseases which are there in the world are zoonotic diseases. And the solutions of these diseases also lie in nature. So nature is today sending us messages. Uh, Mr. Haim Pandey is here to tap on those messages and tell us what to do and how we can 
work in the current pandemic situation. Mr. Pandey, I am extremely grateful to you for finding time to speak to our audience today. It's a great honor for Pushpa Gujral Science City to have you as at this webinar, webinar and to start the series with your talk. You are very, very welcome, sir. Uh, Mr. Pandey is a retired IAS officer from the, he was the Secretary, Ministry of Consumer Affairs, but most important of all, the movement of biodiversity in the country started with Mr. Pandey when he was the additional secretary in the Ministry of Environment, and he was also one of the chairmen of the National Biodiversity Authority. He, uh, he is associated with the biodiversity movement because it was during his time that India got its presidency of the Conference of Parties of CBD. So it's a great honor for us to have you here today, sir. I welcome you. And I also welcome all the guests who are on board today. Uh, Mr. Pandey, I would request you just one thing because we have, this program is for the general public and we have a mixture of audiences. I would request you to keep your talk uh, mixed, uh, both in English as well as in Hindi, as per your convenience. Thank you so much, and the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nilivam, Dr. Grover. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. Of course, uh, in, a, in, a, in a lockdown situation, uh, you know, the kind of enthusiasm one gets seeing you people in front and, you know, uh, uh, be, uh, being at the podium and, you know, so that, and when we discuss nature sitting inside uh, lockdown, it, it's, uh, it's quite difficult, but uh, let me try to be as enthusiastic as possible. I am glad that more than 100 parts, I mean, the, the meeting allows 100 is already up, it actually has been made and there are many in the waiting uh, room. Uh, well, you know, uh, Dr. Nilima, I have known her uh, through biodiversity and, you know, in 2010, when I uh, was given charge of biodiversity division in the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, the uh, biodiversity day was organized by Punjab State Biodiversity Board. Uh, Dr. Nilima, uh, I guess, so uh, remembers, and it was it was a wonderful at that point of time. Uh, uh, in my brief uh, introduction, I had said that biodiversity literacy movement has to be organized in the country. And uh, I hope I'm audible. Uh, yes, I think sir. this is the time, this is the time. And this particular uh, topic for the day, nature protects if she is protected, you know, it's a conditional message. And when India had organized the Convention on Biological Diversities Conference at Hyderabad in 2012, this was the logo for the world. Uh, you know, the entire world had uh, took uh, had accepted this logo, and and that reflects in the two events that uh, we will be talking about uh, today. Today, this this tagline, this multimedia campaign, is the logo of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. And yours truly uh, takes um, uh, pride in being part of it, you know. Um, this was this we picked up from uh, Prakriti Rakshati Rakshita. So you that this additional promise. I mean, if we keep on destroying nature, nature will give us back. And that that given back today is, today is, we are all under lockdown at our home. I think none of us like it. Let's try to come out of it. The food that we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the climate that makes our planet habitable all come from nature. Yet these are exceptional times, as we said, in which nature is sending us a message. What is that message? To care for ourselves, we must care for nature. It's time to wake up 
to take notice, to raise our voices. A lot of children are there. I think I think you will have to demand demand uh, nature uh, from those who uh, make policies about nature. It's time to build back better for people and the planet. On the eve of World Environment Day, this year's world happened again uh, under lockdown condition. It's time for nature. So the International Biodiversity Day 2000, uh, which was just uh, celebrated on 22nd May, the slogan was, the theme was, our solutions are in nature. And World Environment Day theme for this year, which is being the host country is Colombia, uh, time for nature. So nature takes precedence. Uh, why, how does nature protect us? You know, in brief, I will tell you, what are our ecosystems? Yes, sir. And how can as homo sapiens homo sapiens hamara zoological name hai all humans uh, how can we protect nature uh, you know i have taken advantage of this uh, webinar where where all of us are near our screen so we can read it out so you know generally generally you put all this stuff in the notes i have put it out I will also read it out, uh, try to be as fast as possible. We have about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. So biodiversity or, bio or biological diversity refers to the diversity of living things at the genetic level, the species level, and ecosystem level. Uh, biodiversity is the multitude of living things, the variety of life on Earth, and their interconnectedness. Interconnectedness is very important. You can't pick and choose. And that makes the life on Earth. There are about, as of today, 8.7 million species in the world. Of course, we have named only 1.5 billion so far. So even we don't know the names of the species. So, uh, same on we human beings. We kill these animals, we destroy nature, but we don't know their names. We know only 1.5 million names. Sorry, state of affairs. Uh, ecosystems. Uh, you know, like oceans, forests, mountains, and coral reefs. Uh, 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 biodiversity regulates climate, filters air, water, enables soil formation, and mitigates the impact of natural disasters. It provides us timber, fish, crops, pollination, ecotourism, medicines, physical and mental health benefits. Environmental and human health are integrally intertwined and many emerging infectious diseases are driven by activities that affect biodiversity. Changes to the landscape, you know, we were through natural resource extra mining, say, uh, can facilitate disease emergence in wildlife, domestic animals, plants, and animals. Zoonosis, abhi, uh, zoonotic disease, ke mein, nili mein, jo bataya, to disease transmission from animals to humans are estimated to account for more than 60% of human infectious diseases, including the present COVID. Genetic diversity is declining, threatening food security and the resilience of ecosystems, including uh, agricultural systems and food security. Friends, nature's biodiversity is in crisis. We are losing a species at a rate 1,000 times greater than at any other time in recorded human history. Ek hajar times rapidly nature mein species aati hai, jati hai. But humne, we human beings have increased the rate of, uh, you know, uh, loss of species 1,000 times. Sorry, very sorry, we humans must put our head into same. And that's why we are inside our heart. Friends, I just said, 22nd May uh, uh, was the observed as International Day for Biological Diversity through an online campaign like these webinars were held. And, and the theme was, as has been said, our solutions are sure. nature. Nature-based solutions offer ways to promote human well-being, 
tackle climate change and protect protect our living planet the theme shows that humans are part of nature rather than separate from nature so are we part of nature i guess yes yes sir why is biodiversity important for people why yes, is it sir. important sir because all, bio despite all our technological advances we are completely dependent on healthy and vibrant ecosystems for our water food medicines clothes fuel shelter and energy biodiversity ensures that we have fertile soil as well as a variety of foods including fruits and vegetables to eat it is the foundation of most of our industries and livelihoods and helps regulate climate through carbon storage and regulating rainfall it also filters our air and water and mitigates the impact of natural disasters such as landslides and coastal storms there is a coastal storm coming in western india today amphan had just gone uh, on land the most important ecosystems housing biodiversity are forests where many of us have seen forest some of us, uh, us have not seen so those of us who have not seen must go to a forest and and try and find out an amphibian species 80% of amphibia are like frogs uh, are there 75% of bird species and and 68% of mammal species are in terrestrial um, uh, ecosystems but especially forests why is biodiversity important for our health you just heard you know the transmission of disease or an average one new infectious disease emerges in human every 4 months with 75% of these infections coming from animals somewhere i said 60% 75% so they are all guess estimates but yes one thing is sure if we destroy these animal habitats trade illegally in wildlife Uh, our exposure to these pathogens increases so we will have to stop this we will have to uh, respect nature nature is also an essential source of many drugs almost all our medicines come from nature 4 billion people 4 billion people more than half of world's population rely primarily primarily on natural medicines and we indians more even for the covid 19 what what is saying rely on natural medicines turmeric is yes, being talked about and about 70% of cancer drugs are either natural products or synthetic ones inspired by nature mind you inspired by nature insulin uh, in the united states alone 118 of the top 150 prescription drugs are based on natural resource yet we are destroying nature very sad how is biodiversity connected to the economy see half more than half of the world's gdp 44 trillion us dollars come uh, through uh, biodiversity through nature construction agriculture food and beverages are the three largest industries that are most dependent on nature such industries require either the direct extraction of resources from forests and oceans or rely on ecosystem services such as healthy soils clean water pollination and a stable climate among the hundreds of millions of people living in poverty more than 70% depend on natural resources to earn their livelihood and india is the best example to see this happening whether through farming fishing forestry or other natural based activities world environment day on uh, just after two days from today on the 5th june is also celebrating biodiversity that is nature that is ecosystem so ecosystem and ecosystem services the occasion's theme is i just told you it's time for nature highlights how nature delivers vital services to humanity and the urgent need to halt its destruction 
distinguished participants so far what i am uh, trying to tell you is how nature protects us many of us do not know we think it's for free it happens and that is why nature is in crisis threatened by biodiversity and habitat loss global heating and tax toxic pollution failure to act is failing humanity addressing the current coronavirus pandemic and protecting ourselves against future global threats requires sound management of hazardous medical and chemical waste strong and global stewardship of nature and biodiversity and a clear commitment to building back better i repeat clear commitment to building back better by one and all those who make policy or those who follow policies creating green jobs and facilitating the transition to carbon neutral economies humanity depends on action now for a resilient and sustainable future now quickly i'll take you through some graphics that will explain what are ecosystem services how nature pro i mean uh, of course i have named so many of them so this was a term when 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 uh, people were not understanding millennium ecosystem assessment in 2004 brought out this terminology of ecosystem services because we understand services and and then then through these services we i mean the, the science started valuing what is the value of a, of a service that nature gives us then we will understand because if we have to talk in terms of economics it's ecology study of the house but uh, manage, we are doing management of house we are talking about ecology without uh, studying about the house we don't know how our house looks you just heard we do not know the names of the species on this earth you know 8.7 million or only of which only 1.5 we know so it's high time uh, high time for the for the uh, money minded people we uh, value these services there are some services which have been valued and uh, the you know and why why uh, it is important for uh, sustainable development this slide shows talks a bit about india we are only a very tiny area of the world india has what is that only 2.4 to 5% 2.4% to be precise and we have around 8% of recorded species of the world in india 8 about 8% which includes which includes around 50000 species of plants now through botanical survey of india the the they, they they list the species they survey the species and about 100000 animal species through zoological survey of india both are headquartered at kolkata uh, unfortunately we house one fifth of the world's population in this tiny 2.4 percent i am saying unfortunately because this huge population puts tremendous pressure on the biological resources on the nature that we have we have been holding on and we have only 0.5% of world's grazing area mind you but one almost one fifth one sixth of the world's livestock population the cattle the you know the cattle which roam around unproductive cattle many a time they just roam around around the forests around the uh, uh, grasslands and and put tremendous biotic pressure on our natural resources as <laughs> said many people depend on the livelihood and ecosystem services provide the links between nature and anthropocentric sustainable the development anthropocentric means human centered uh, as i said valuation of uh, ecosystem services is uh, important um, uh, it gives us uh, it makes us understand trade off choices ye karna hai ya wo karna hai isse paisa kam kharcha hoga ya is pe zyada hoga reflect consequences of our choices and behavior on various dimensions of human life in that informed decisions between conservation and conservation of natural resources kahi par hame jangal katai karni hai sadak banani hai building banani hai hotel banana hai ye sab decisions ke liye hame 
the valuation of ecosystem services at least jo marketable hai wo karna zaruri hota hai aur isiliye uh, is century mein 2004 5 ke aas paas uh, we, we uh, the emphasis was even even world biodiversity ecology all are new new things 1980 90 90s mein food chain food web hum log jab when we used to be in the graduation post graduation classes we used to read about a uh, food chain food web ecosystem now children uh, those uh, many children study in their school syllabus about ecosystem food chain and food web uh, but we have to uh, ensure that these food chains and food webs uh, function and that is where the valuation of the services through these functions is very important a small example, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, now old, but uh, still I thought I'll just give you an example of Chilika Lake. Uh, 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 out of distinguished participants, I don't know whether anyone has been to Chilika. Uh, it's on the, it's in the state of Orissa. It's, uh, it's uh, yes, sir. On the, very good. So, you know, the, the fisheries production there, I mean, the lake basically was for humans and we were eating fish, lots of fish out of there. The production had gone down, you know, the, the, the fish catch had gone down uh, because of the biotic pressure, because of the destruction of the uh, lake, uh, from 7,000 metric ton to 1,000 metric ton. There's a Ramsar Convention and the uh, Chilika was listed on that. It was removed from that. It was it, it was said that it was a red, red flag was shown to it, Montreal record. It was put onto Montreal record. Then, then we, uh, uh, you know, realized that something is amiss. Uh, interventions were made, uh, both government of Odisha and government of India, took care of it. And today, this lake is back. Huge production of industry, much more than what it used to give, and uh, good tourism. And so, it's a win-win for all. Uh, you know, uh, but the intervention was after after. Uh, taking all the pros and cons, and that is what we need everywhere. Quickly through these graphics, uh, uh, ecosystem services, uh, Millennium uh, uh, ecosystem, uh, uh, you know, assessment gave us four categories: provisioning, regulating, cultural, and supporting services. Provisioning services, we all see, you know, this. These are the these are the provisional uh, uh, benefits, food, feed, fiber, fuel, pharma, and many others. This is the it's list of food items, feed, water, forage. So this, uh, uh, these are all, this all comes from nature. This all comes from nature. Uh, the fiber, fuel, pharma, the other, uh, you know, provisional uh, 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 ecosystem services, then regulating and supporting services, such as purification of air and water, mitigation of droughts and floods, generation and preservation of soils and renewal of their fertility, detoxification and decomposition of waste. We just keep on throwing waste, but nature detoxifies it and decomposes it. Pollination, dispersal of seeds, cycling and movement of nutrients, control of vast majority of potential agricultural press, maintenance of biodiversity, so on and so forth. This is all the ecosystem services, including regulatory and support. Then there are cultural services. You know, there's a river rafting. What are the cultural benefits? Uh, provision of aesthetic beauty and intellectual stimulation that uplift the human spirit. We, we always feel good when we go out to nature. Provision of a spirituality, provision of a spaces that provide opportunities for rec recreation. Also, most, if not all human behavior, whether individual or in groups, is mediated by culture making anything we food, center, religion, a cultural act dependent on the goods and services provided by ecosystems. 
Now, what are the issues? Hello. Regulating and supporting services flowing from natural ecosystems are undervalued by society. Many human initiated disruptions of ecosystems are difficult or impossible to reverse on a human relevant time scale. A continued lack of awareness will dramatically alter the Earth's remaining natural ecosystems within a few decades. So these are the decades, the these are the issues. <coughs> Sorry. See, this is how we are destroying nature. We will keep on harvesting till the nature is finished. Stop this. You know, beautiful uh, regulating and supporting services this wetland is providing, but for our greed, we are destroying it. So continued disturbance. You can you can imagine Sukna Lake out there. How what is happening? Lots of fishes are dead. <laughs> now, how should we govern nature, environmental governance? Number one, embedding the environment at all levels of decision making and action. It is there, it is there. Conceptualizing cities and communities, economic and political life as a subset of environment. So nature takes precedence, holistic. That's the first point. And rest all is number two. Emphasizing the connection of people to the ecosystems in which they live. You know, the nature, ecosystem is virtually nature. Promoting the transition from open loop, cradle to grave systems. You know, when we throw garbage, without recycling, without reusing it, or without making uh, it as a raw material for others. It's called cradle to grave. Now, better sense is prevailing, cradle to cradle, but it's a long way to go unless people participate, people understand, uh, you know, permaculture, zero waste strategies, all, all is there, but it has to be done. What is permaculture? It's, a, it's a, you know, uh, 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 directly utilizing the patterns and resilient features. So what, what is there in nature? If you can use it, we have been using that, that's permaculture. Uh, you know, shareholder capitalism, those, those, who, those of you who are holding shares in a company will understand. You only care whether your share value is going up or not. Whether the company is destroying nature, you don't care. So, so that is where the time has come for the stakeholder capitalism. It's not only the shareholder, but all others. Shareholder can come and exit, but the stakeholders must keep a watch on the companies. If they are destroying nature, they must red flag them. You know, this is this is a graphic showing. Uh, what uh, what we do? We we take easy solutions. You know, we are we are mowing our lawns, creating monocultures, using electricity, pesticides, fertilizers. This is all all destroying nature. Just leave the grass alone. It will increase biodiversity, flowers, insects, birds, and ecosystem services will improve. Nature will. There are difficult solutions, ethical, practical. And, and, you know, uh, uh, particularly if the alternate path to economic development cannot be found, how can rising, uh, raising the standard of the living in developing countries avoid, I mean, like ours, avoid negative impacts on the ecosystem? This is, this is, this is the fear of the Western world. They think that if we also grow as business as usual, the way we are going now, uh, creating pollution, creating uh, you know damage to nature, the global e ecosystems will die. But that is their fear. Our we should also ensure that we do not destroy nature for ourselves. 
this is cradle to cradle this is this is what nature expects us you know uh, uh, design from the start a product that is not harmful to health and environment it's reusable it's not only recyclable but reusable our suppliers how their product is made and what materials it contains innovate together with supply chain partners so so many young people are here distinguished participants i think it's time to innovate on nature based products uh, from ownership to leasing to you know so this is this is transition from products to services product service systems what if we don't didn't buy the goods themselves but the services they provide how we are doing uh, current currently cradle to grave one size fits all brute force monocultures etc etc uh, cradle to cradle teaches us waste equals food so uh, waste for a is food for b it, it happens in nature as you know there are decomposers in nature those who have studied food uh, chains and food webs diversity in nature Uh, uh local materials infinite reuse and of course solar and wind energy so this is this is what uh, nature expects us to follow greening of supply chains key stock who are the key stakeholders organizations institutions or policy makers that govern the supply chain companies that supply raw materials companies with direct contact to the customer product designers or service providers service providers that dispose of waste so uh, so there's a scope for greening for for making it nature friendly all these supply chains can be made uh, nature friendly how because i was told by uh, dr uh, nilima that uh, you know uh, uh, pushpa gujral science city Where I was, uh, I was there, and I was very impressed with the uh, institution, and you know, and I, I guess a lot of school and college children visit there, and it's going to be, um, you know, a permanent uh, feature in the syllabus of Punjab and of course in the country. So, uh, you know. we this particular book on blue economy blue economy don't mistake this with the ocean the the biodiversity in ocean um, uh, this book as i just showed you is uh, by gunter pauli the report of the club of rome 10 years 100 innovations 100 million jobs and and all this book talks about is is uh you know with what is locally available uh, you know the book highlights potential benefits in connecting and combining seemingly disparate uh, environmental problems with open source scientific solutions based upon physical processes common in the natural world to create solutions that are both environmentally beneficial and which have financial and wider social benefits uh, i have the uh, copy of this book i always uh, consult this book and pushpa gujral science city uh, i hope uh, will will try and do the innovations that are proposed here there's a second version of this uh, has also come uh, the blue economy version 2 uh and and uh, you know uh, it's uh, they largely it's again it's hands on uh, uh, it, it describes around 200 projects uh, which have been set up with an investment of 4 billion us dollars and has already created 3 million jobs and it also presents case studies both both from uh across the world and also from india so uh, friends this is uh, uh, acquire a copy of each of this in pushpa gujral science uh, city and see 
if if the young generation today can practice uh, this and and how it works i will show you in these slides the blue economy respond to basic needs of all with what you have introducing innovations inspired by nature mind you innovations inspired by nature generating multiple benefits including jobs and social capital offering more with less offering more with less solutions are first and foremost based on physics deciding factors are pressure and temperature as found on site substitute something with nothing question any resource regarding its necessity for production natural systems cascade nutrients matter and energy waste does not exist there is no waste in nature and any by product is the source for a new product nature evolved from a few species to a rich biodiversity wealth means diversity industrial standardization is the contrary nature provides room for entrepreneurs who do more with less nature is contrary to contrary to monopolization there are no monopolies in nature gravity is main source of energy those of you who have studied physics solar energy is the second renewable force gravity is the main source solar energy is number 2 water is the primary solvent no complex chemical toxic catalyst in nature the constant is change innovations take place in every moment it's dynamic nature only works with what is locally available hum log to koi factory laga dete hain to bas 10 saal se ek hi kaam karte rehte hain chahe pollution ho chahe hawa gaddi ho kuch ho koi matlab nahi lekin nature mein constantly innovations hote rehte hain and that is why we our solutions lie in nature hame more and more you know नेचर से सीखना होगा नेचर की प्रोसेसेस को कॉपी करना कॉपी कैट बनना है तो नेचर की कॉपी कैट बनिए नेचर रेस्पॉन्स टू बेसिक नीड्स एंड देन इवॉल्व फ्रॉम सफिशियंसी टू अबंडस द प्रेजेंट इकोनॉमिक मॉडल रिलाईज ऑन स्कॉसिटी एज अ बेसिस फॉर प्रोडक्शन एंड कंजम्पन नेचुरल सिस्टम्स आर नॉन लीनियर in nature everything is biodegradeable it is just a matter of time it goes off jaise hi haathi mara cheeti kha jati hai usko you know par hum log ne kya kiya have you heard of ddt diclofenac vultures you know we lost vultures vulture population in india got lost how because the uh, we were feeding cattle with a with a uh, medicine called diclofenac and that diclofenac when the cattle was dying vultures as decomposers as uh, they 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 used to feed on the cattle uh, that cattle and will remove uh, that value hai gabi eta matter so so uh, Uh, you know uh, that diclof ultimately it was found out that diclofenac ultimately was depo- getting deposited in the kidney of vultures and vultures started dying so ultimately you know the rescue uh, was being done so this is how the interconnectedness in nature uh, works you know so if we if we remove something or if we push something for our own benefit the nature uh, gives us back and and vultures so there were there were many problems i i don't want to get into that abhi wo us bare mein baat nahi karte hain uh in nature water air and soil are the commons free and abundant in nature one process generates multiple benefits natural systems share risk any risk is a motivator for innovation any risk is a motivator for innovations you innovators among the stakeholders participants listen this nature is efficient so sustainable business maximizes use of available material and energy this is the unit price of the for the consumer nature searches for the 
Teacher stresses for the optimum for all involucrate elements. Involucrate word is very interesting. You see the dictionary, you'll find the meaning. It's very interesting. It again comes from nature, the flower petals. In nature, negatives are converted into positives. Problems are opportunities. Nature searches for economies of scope. One natural innovation carries various benefits for all. How will we do it? I don't know. From blue economy, there are talks of circular economy. A circular economy is the one. It's again candle to candle kind. Uh, a circular economy is the one that is restorative by design and which aims to keep products, components, and materials at their highest utility and value at all the times. It's about 40 minutes, so I have talked to, so I think, another 5-10 minutes, 5 minutes more, maybe, maybe 10 minutes, um, distinguishing between technical and biological science. Why are businesses moving towards a circular economy? We must ask. Uh, the increasing amount of scarce resources, natural resources, is a strategic issue of almost every multinational corporation. The depletion of non-renewable resources. What are those? Minerals, air up metals, is offering an increasing business risk. You just saw among the ecosystem services. Closed loop systems are profitable. Closed loop systems means cradle to cradle. Circular economy. <clears throat> we must ask the right questions. What are the right questions? Are products designed from the start for assembly to be reusable or just bad, 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 bad. using recycled or virgin material, biological or technological metabolism. Examine the entire supply chain, how to get the product back, where to find your partners that adhere to the same principle. Can the product be produced on the mass scale and substitute for others? Does accreditation process address all these issues? For us individuals, I just quickly found the slide, so I thought I must share with you uh, ways to eat environment, uh, nature friendly. You know, how, how this is what we can do. We can go local, eat as much as lo as locally possible, a locally grown food. You know, this will, this will, uh, Please repeat this. this will reduce carbon footprint. Go organic. Eat food which are not grown using synthetics. Recycling resources and promoting biodiversity are important ingredients of organic. I hope you are able to hear me. Yes, sir. We are able yes. to hear. Yes, sir. We are able to hear. Yes, sir. We are able to hear. Yes, sir. We can hear yes, you. Sir. Thank you. Eating raw carrot is more beneficial, both health-wise and environment-friendly. Eating, eating seasonal food is not only healthy, but also local purchasing. Kinu ke time pe kinu. Local purchasing is an environment-friendly Preserve it. Agar aapko salver strawberries khani hai, to preserve kariye. The way your daddy ma used to do, grandmother used to do, without any preservatives. Don't eat anything which uses preservatives. Yes, yeah, sir. We will do this. We will do Grow yeah. your own. One does not need a lot of area to grow vegetables, but one can either join a community garden or have your own vertical garden. Yes, sir. Even, even in an earthen pot. You know, they are small, small things, but we can do it. And this is this will help to protect nature. Use food waste for composting. This is very important, friends. Particularly young children, we waste a lot of uncooked or cooked food depending on where we are. If we are in rich country, we you know food after coming to table, uncooked or cooked, goes to the waste um, uh, goes waste. In Sir, countries country like ours, you know, the food before coming to the table, 
because we do not have proper infrastructure you know a lot of tomatoes you you will be surprised one one fourth of the tomatoes potatoes onions that we grow in our country just go waste this i learned when i was consumer affairs secretary in government of india and every day we used to monitor prices of these essential items 25% of this just goes waste just goes waste you know so it's unfortunate is unfortunate so we all have um, you know a role to play uh, in fact 50% of the food before coming to the table goes waste in country like ours and 50% of the food coming to the coming to the uh, after coming to the table goes waste in rich countries unfortunately friends finally i will uh, i am banking on this there's a proposal to set up digital resource efficiency authority in our country uh, under a national resource efficiency policy post covid it must get top priority if we really mean what we say if we really want to walk the talk jo hum kehte hain agar usko karna hai so this may be a solution in protecting nature and making sustainable use of uh, nature it could be the much desired balancing intervention in securing our solutions are in nature our solutions are nature the it was the theme of international biodiversity day this year and we should not forget next year there will be another theme if we survive this covid uh, you know and and we we must not forget this this theme should be there forever and time for nature is the theme we will give big lecture lectures on the 5th june and we were on online uh, protect nature protect nature protect nature but how and why nobody and and act you know there are no incentive to act in favor of nature i hope i hope things improve after this this lockdown that we are uh, into it it's our it's it's been done by us we humans uh, it puts our head into same the way we have destroyed nature nature has given nature is giving us this uh, खराब लग रहा है ना सबको वी आर फीलिंग वेरी बैड घर के अंदर बैठे हुए हैं यस सर और बात कर रहे हैं नेचर यस सर यस सर तो हम बनेंगे इज इट इट यस सर यस सर यस सर आई एम सेइंग कंपनीज की कॉर्पोरेट एनवायरनमेंट रिस्पांसिबिलिटी वो सीएसआर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी से ही नहीं होगा वो एक चैरिटी yes, है उसमें उसमें जो है थोड़ा सा पैसा दे करके टू परसेंट दे करके अपना जो है पूरा प्रॉफिट कमाते हैं वो स्टेक शेयर होल्डर शेयर होल्डर कैपिटलिज्म नहीं चलेगा स्टेक होल्डर कैपिटलिज्म होना चाहिए स्लोगन करो इन सी इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न अब मैं ज्यादा इकोनॉमिक्स की बात नहीं करता हूँ इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इकोनॉमिक रेट ऑफ रिटर्न मस्ट बी रिप्लेस बाय एनवायरमेंटल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न पुष्पा गुजराल मस्ट टेक लीड ऑन दिस प्लीज ऑल द कंपनीज टू बिगिन विथ इन पंजाब प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ नेचर थोड़ा सा प्रॉफिट कम होगा शॉर्ट टर्म बट लॉन्ग टर्म If we are dynamic, nature की तरह innovate करते रहेंगे India में तो innovation होते ही नहीं है सब जुगाड़ हुए हैं तो हम तो we will not be able to protect nature. I hope I am proven wrong. So finally, nature will surely protect us if we protect her. This is my forty fourth slide and this is my final slide, friends. Thank you so much. अगर निधिमा जी और ग्रोवर साहब कहें तो Uh, there could be one one or two quick questions otherwise is picture ko dekhiye mujhe bahut acha laga whatsapping to aaj kal hum sab log karte hain whatsapp pe mujhe mila tha dekhiye ego and eco dekh rahe hain aap ego mein aaj ke upar baitha hua hai and this is what yes. we have been doing 
post covid i want the man here among all the animals man woman you know they go everyone don't be dominant be partner learn to live with nature learn to live with nature then only nature will protect us so thank you so much for bearing with me thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir for your information sir with you information and if thank you we are very grateful for you we all protect the nature sir we will all thank you thank you thank you so much thank you sir thank you for our thank you environment day Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, 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 Thank you, ma'am. For our presentation. So young, young, young people, give me, Should give me a word as you will be champions. Yes. You will be ambassadors of nature protection. Nature will be our priority. Don't leave it. Muskan, Muskan, yes. Sir, uh, actually, uh, I just wanted to tell you about uh, all, all our nature. Uh, as we all know, uh, sir, that nature plays very important uh, role in our life. It provides us so many things related to our luxury. If we go and continue polluting the earth and its scenic beauty, uh, we will not be able to, you know, see all the nature as we are all, uh, destroying all the natural resources. But, sir, due to COVID nineteen, uh, we have, uh, you know, all the stop and uh, uh, zone layer is, you know. Uh, uh, Finishing, it is renewing. So it is a very good thing, and the pollution is stopped. And all the land degradation, uh, soil erosion has stopped. So it is a very good thing. As in, uh, and uh, as you told that, uh, 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 your grandmothers use all the. You know, we should use so why, all. Why did you did you realize why it is so beautiful? Why it yes. is so beautiful? because uh, sir due to uh, sir as all the pollution is stopped and uh, in our uh, environment all the uh, ha harmful gases uh, their amount is been uh, very less uh, due to that we are able to I see the, the i i use the word biotic pressure so you you, you realize that we are putting too much pressure on nature since when lockdown in our locality we say mountains from jalandhar we are we are Oh, we are only and only destroying our nature. We are not bothering about our nature. But nature is a very good gift which is given to us by the God. So we should also think about nature. That if nature is giving everything free of cost, we should also respect the nature. How, like how can we do it? Yes, uh, you are right. ये बताइए कैसे कर पाएंगे? Sir, we are actually listening. Yeah. Why the governments do not listen? Why do we? Uh, sir because because they do not bother about this they just only say this one time that conserve nature and then they just so move tomorrow, on tomorrow muskan if you will be the prime minister of this country yeah. will you change yeah sir i'll definitely uh, first of all i'll definitely talk about the environmental changes i will uh, like sir sarkare bas kehti hain bas karti kuch nahi hai when we will grow up and become a part they i speak Actually, this is my turn, and I am supposed to speak. Yeah, who who wants to come? Sir, I. Ah, uh, Ayan, Ayan. Did I pronounce it correctly? Ayan. Yeah. It is Ayan. Sir, it is Ayan. Uh, what does it mean? Nature is a very wonderful. Of God to human beings, it is one of the most important that we are able to exist. Nature not only help a, help us to exist, it also makes our world more beautiful. We can use nature to make our life more easier. For example, we can use solar energy from sun. Even though nature is important for us. but we are destroying it whenever we think about nature and its problems we feel that it is not our duty it is 
someone else duty to protect it we are polluting water bodies by releasing waste in them global warming is also caused by polluting the nature it is nature which gives us all necessary things to survive in our life in the present situation when the whole world is in lockdown we can see changes in nature for example Let's first time i saw mountain from a terrace thank you ayan now let's go to tajinder excuse me sir sir may i speak now so actually uh, it was uh, like uh, uh due to network error i was not able to so as you have asked me the question that uh, when i will be the prime minister what will i do may i may i speak it yeah yeah who is that muskan again okay, i am so uh, when, uh, yeah yeah <laughs> when will i when i will become the prime minister first of all i will uh, you know make one one uh, one uh, different committee for all this nature uh, conservatives as uh, i will just tell them that your duty is to conserve the nature so you have to uh, see all the things like uh, you have to maintain all the things properly you have uh, you know you have to educate the people about the nature and uh, if we, uh, and about the uh, about its uh, uh, about its effects and all that things so you know uh, everyone should be aware and uh, uh, i will also make uh, actually there are many app uh, which are provided to us by our government is it, is it muskan is it muskan yes sir it it's if muskan. i ask you if i let's forget if i ask you uh, where do you live in chandigarh yes sir i am not able to hear you can you please uh, repeat it uh, where do you live chandigarh no sir i live in firozpur you live in firozpur okay if there might be a water body or something but let me ask you um, as Uh, say uh, you know we are discussing if you are a political leader who has to decide if there is a proposal to fill up half of the water body be it sukhna lake or kirojpur might be having uh, some big water body or yes, a sir. park or a forest if there is a proposal uh, with sir, the hurricane is in firozpur to make yeah what is that the river uh, I said, Harike Wetland is partially yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so if yes, there are already eighty to ninety percent wetlands in the world have been, you know, entire Bangkok is on a wetland. You know, half of the Kolkata is on wetland. Yes. Know? So and Delhi's pollution problems are not because of uh, pollution alone. Rapid desertification, the desert Sahara desert is moving towards Delhi. You know, so. as a policy maker if there is a proposal before you to fill up that water body and build multi storied houses what will you do sir can you please repeat the question see if you you, you i have as a builder i have come before the government to fill up to you know whatever water body is left in a in a town or in a city or in a village i want to fill that up and build a multi storied house and tell the government that i will give 10 20% houses to the poor and rest all i will so will you will you how will you handle this project sir uh, for grant them uh, permission or or uh, what will you do sir uh, actually i will first of all i will fill the dam with, uh, with pure water and then uh, sir as uh, in a, in a firozpur there are many uh, people who are not getting the purified water so uh, i will just connect all the uh, all, uh, all the pipes with the dams to to the houses so pe- all the people uh, should get all the purified water to drink and uh, i will make uh, about 100 uh, 100 houses like Yeah, hundred houses. Uh, some of uh, I'll provide all the houses to the poor people because uh, they are not getting pure water to drink. If they will not get the pure water to drink, they will suffer from many diseases, which is very harmful. Yeah. Okay. But but will you allow the 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 lake to be filled and uh, build a multi-storied house? That's what has happened. The malls have come up. Many things have come up on water bodies. Yes. You know, natural drainage system. You are, do you understand natural drainage system? Water said, you know, a natural drainage system almost has been finished. That's why we have floods in places where we have never imagined. 
यू नो श्रीनगर में एक बार फ्लड आ गया था चेन्नई हैदराबाद यू नो दीज आर द प्लेसेस बिकॉज द नेचुरल चैनल्स चैनल्स को हमने सब कंक्रीट से ब्लॉक कर दिया है दिस इज अ वेरी स्मॉल थिंग व्हिच वी कैन अवॉइड बट इन द मैड रस ऑफ प्रॉफिट मैड मैड प्रॉफिट आज देखो वो पैसा कहां जा रहा है घर में बैठे हो यू नो सो सो रियलाइज एंड द यंग जनरेशन यू गाइस वो वो ओल्ड सिस्टम नहीं चलेगा झोपड़ी में रहना अब झोपड़ी में रहने वाला और बड़े बड़े मकान में रहने वाला आज एक ही हालत में है यस सर वोट मांगने आते हैं उनसे लिख के लीजिए दैट विल यू प्रोटेक्ट नेचर मुझे गारंटी दीजिए आप अपने आरडब्ल्यू ए से पहले पूछिए आप अपने पड़ोस में कूड़ा फेंकने से पहले सोचिए ओके सर ये को यूज किया जाता है हम हम प्लास्टिक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट में काम कर रहे हैं अभी अदर डे मार्च आई अमृतसर आई वाज सो ग्लैड टू मीट योर म्यूनिसपल कमिश्नर देयर एंड उन्होंने प्लास्टिक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट लेकिन हम लोग इतना गंदगी क्यों करते हैं इतना अनाप शनाप क्यों खाते हैं क्यों लेते हैं वो कैन वो प्लास्टिक यू नो लेस लेस मेक अ मूवमेंट थैंक यू सर you just mentioned earlier that uh, nothing is waste we do agree with that if we understand that uh, if we use the nature things uh, then nothing is waste everything can be recycled so we can contribute to reduction of a number of waste uh, across the cities uh, as we can see there are number of gar- garbage waste uh, when we do enter the delhi city so it can be reduced uh, if we Uh, just recycle the things if we focus on recycling and uh, the next thing i wish to say is that ki hum ye kehte hain ki government change kare ya ngo change kare wo log nahi badal rahe ye log nahi badal rahe the one thing we all need to follow among us is ki agar hum khud badal jayenge to hum sabko ye hum sabko ye bol sakte hain sabko advise kar sakte hain if we are uh, changing ourselves then we can change the society also so yes. uh, so charity begins at home pehle charity begins at home hame pehle karna padega hamare may i may i sir may i the first thing it is that we should change ourselves then only we can say that others could change uh, let's listen Thank to you, manindra sir. now sir may i highlight one thing yeah sir it's muskan sharma thank you sir for giving me uh, the chance sir actually uh, as a as a uh, young uh, young student actually uh, you uh, as we all know that there is a lot of plastic which is you know there is uh, all waste sir actually i just started uh, i i i wanted to start start one thing that uh, uh, i i uh, i wanted to collect all the plastic bottles and all the things uh, made of plastic and i will uh, i just wanted to recreate that but due to lockdown i was not able to actually i have talked to my teachers in my school i i, I wanted to start with that uh, but i am not able to so uh, is my idea good or not i yes, just want yes, to know yes. yes abhi to aapne pura you just saw the entire presentation blue economy ki ye jo ye jo kitab maine dikhai aapko isme yes, 100 sir. ideas mein ideas hain there are many books there is no theory bahut hai humne bahut baatein kar li hai there hum see first aapko jo hai it will be very difficult so yes, no, we do not segregate our ways there are many many issues you know so segregation fit collection and otherwise साल पहले हमें को हमें सिखाया गया है प्लास्टिक बोतल है हमें दी गई अब बैन द प्लास्टिक सी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बैन करनी होगी नॉट आफ्टर मैन्युफैक्चर इट हैज सो देयर आर मेनी इश्यूज बट एज यू जस्ट लर्न इन नेचर देयर इज नो वेस्ट सिमिलरली वी ह्यूमंस शुड इंश्योर दैट our waste becomes raw material for somebody else 
yes sir sir the thing is that we are not able to stop the root like hum us jad ko khatam hi nahi kar pa rahe sir jo hamare mind mein hai ki agar yaar gand pada to pada hai na to hum kyu saaf kare koi aur kar lega no we should we have to just finish that thinking we you know we should be the one to start start that we should be the one that you uh, you know this is not looking good it will uh, pollute our yes, bottom all bottom. of us agree with you all of us agree with you on this but sir ek, sir ek, sir i i i just wanted to say something that uh, everyone is saying yes we will conserve the nature but no one no one will see them will they conserve nature no i i know now that they will they, they will not conserve the nature they they are just saying that they will conserve the nature but they will not conserve the nature i know that because everyone who, are those they? who is who is that they sir actually everyone in the you have to begin the movement yes ma'am actually i am uh, in my village i uh, have talked to my uh, all the so community. you have to motivate your friends to do it and everybody will do it Ma'am, I always motivate. Even my, I always motivate my family to, you know, start. Uh, start, that. start. Abi, abi, ham log these kind of people are in minority. Ham pe log hasthe hain jo nature ki baat karte hain. Yes, they just think that this is. पहले पहले अपने friends बढ़ाइए, है ना? कोई झूला ले जाने में हम सरमाते हैं एक कपड़े का झूला ले जाने. Yes, sir. We just think कि लोग क्या बोलेंगे लोग क्या बोलेंगे सर सभी को अमीर बनना है ऐसे सोचते हैं अपने अपने जितने पॉजिटिव हम नेचर के फेवर में काम कर सकते हैं वो करना है और नेगेटिव को फुटप्रिंट्स को क्लाइमेट चेंज है फुटप्रिंट का खेल बायोडाइवर्सिटी है हैंड प्रिंट का खेल यस सर क्लाइमेट चेंज इज रिवर्सिबल हम लोगों ने किया है हम लेकिन दुनिया so में एक सही कर सकते हैं वन स्पीसीज गोज ऑफ आज एक स्पीसीज खत्म हो जाएगी पूरे नेटवर्क में तो हम उस स्पीसीज का पर्टिकुलर जो निस है पर्टिकुलर जॉब है चीटियों को आप देखते हो एंड्स को चीटियां कितना मेहनत से काम करती हैं नेचर में कितना अर्थवर्म्स एंड एंड सो एक को भी हटा लो पूरा नेचर गड़बड़ा जाता है तो लेट्स Let's work for nature. Na, nature will give us. Abhi wo koi kya tha? Jalandhar se Himalaya dikh raha hai, Siwali se dikh raha hai. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, yes, this is right because Excuse me. is locked down. So, thank you, sir, friend. Uh, I wish after this I am able to come there and talk to you in in the science city. Thank you, Doctor yes, Jairam. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this. So much, so highly of sir. Because thank you, sir. 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 Can I intervene now? Thank you, sir. Very important for us. Can I intervene now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So thank you, children. Ah, uh, आज के ये इस talk के बाद एक चीज तो साफ हो गई. कि ये जो दुनिया है ये अगली जनरेशन की है ये आप लोगों की है और जो मैम एक्सक्यूज मी मैम आई वांट टू स्पीक विद द ऑफिसर हु टॉक विद मे बी विल डू दैट लेटर यू नीड टू क्लोज द सेशन प्लीज आई जस्ट वांट टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यू कि आज के टॉक में हमारे जो डेलीगेट्स पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे थे उसमें स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स भी थे एवरीवन मैम प्लीज म्यूट दिस माइक मैम आपने माइक म्यूट कर लिया हमें आपकी आवाज नहीं आई यस मैम मैम प्लीज एंड म्यूट द माइक विदाउट अनम्यूट वी कैन नॉट हेयर यू अनम्यूट कीजिए अपने आप को फ्रेंड्स आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू से इट हैज बीन अ वंडरफुल सेशन एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू से ये जो दुनिया है ये आज की बातचीत तो साफ हो गया कि अगली जनरेशन की है आप लोगों की है आज की चौक में स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स थे घोड़े से थे कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स थे यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट्स थे प्रोफेसर्स थे यूनिवर्सिटीज थे कॉलेजेस थे एनजीओ भी बैठे हुए थे क्योंकि मैं 
पूरा टाइम देखती देख रही थी और बहुत सारे लोग हम यूट्यूब पे लाइव थे तो बहुत सारे लोग यूट्यूब पे भी बैठे हमें फॉलो कर रहे थे इंथुजियाजम कुछ करने का इनके कोई टीचर्स और कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स भी आगे आके कुछ बोलेंगे मैम आई कॉन्ट हेयर योर वॉइस एक्सक्यूज मी सर इस टॉक ने आपको बहुत मोटिवेट किया सिचुएशन विच यू गे Yes, I love the slogan which you said that innovation happens constantly in nature, and we have to follow it. So we will put it as our slogan for the innovation hub. Uh, I also wanted to tell you and to the students that program के साथ साथ हमारे webinars के साथ हम competitions भी करवा रहे हैं. हमारे बायोडाइवर्सिटी डे पर भी हमने कॉम्पिटिशन्स करवाए थे फोटोग्राफी कॉम्पिटिशन था यस मैम कि हमें हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी एंट्रीज मिली और हमारे जजेस को समझ नहीं आ रहा कि कौन सी सबसे अच्छी है इसी तरह से स्टोरी कॉम्पिटिशन था जिसमें हमारे पास सेवेंटी एंट्रीज आई सो so, वो उसकी जजमेंट no, आज इसी वक्त हमारे डेक्लेमेशन कॉन्टेस्ट है उसमें 154 एंट्रीज आई हैं और हम उसे तीन दिन में कंप्लीट कर पाएंगे ताकि हम उसका रिजल्ट टाइम पे डिक्लेयर कर सके इसके अलावा आज के प्रोग्राम के साथ हमने एक पोइट्री कॉम्पिटिशन भी किया था जिसमें हमारे पास मोर देन 100 पोइट्रीज ऑन नेचर आई हैं सो आर जजेस आर लुकिंग एट दो प्लीज लेट मी स्पीक we will declare the result in um, on 5th of june so uh, i have not given a single chance ma'am please something. i would like to give her a chance and uh, then i would no, like no. to request uh, no ma'am ma'am i'm shan ma'am i'm shanpreet please let me speak a word i want to ask an important thing yes, from sir yes please please after these oh, two I, children I, I, after these two children i will request dr grover to kindly close the session because i'm sure uh, mr pandey has a lot of other things to do is very kind enough let, to let's spend let, extra let, time let, with us ma'am i want to speak something please yes, mr please. pandey mr pandey please from sanpeep final question from sanpeep please sir thank you very please much sir thank you very ma much ma'am i had not get a single chance bolo beta bolo here ma'am excuse me sir मुस्कान शर्मा इफ यू वर एन प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड यू हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू सो सर एज यू आर आई एस ऑफिसर सो यू वुड हैव डेल्ट विद सच प्रॉब्लम इन डेली लाइफ सो सर कुड यू प्लीज गिव मी सम टिप्स एज माई एम्बिशन इज टू बिकम एन आई पी एस ऑफिसर to deal with such things you want to become an ips officer yes sir ah uh, yeah you have the best opportunity to help nature you know you you if you can see two things two things we indians lack tell me what civic sense and rule of law say so, yes if this country has to become a developed country 
Almost even America is putting us into same details, but but civic yes, sense and the entire nature love is civic sense. You know how we have been cleaning hands. Sarkar batari ki apne haath do. Kaha party karoge sarkar batari ki? Aise aise desh mein koi kis kuch nahi kar sakta. We must have civic sense. A to Z, everyone. And rule of law. The police mein police ka kaam hai rule of law. स्केल ऑफ टेन में मैं पुलिस को जो है रूल ऑफ लॉ मेंटेन करने में बहुत कम अंक देता हूं क्योंकि वो सिटीजन भी कॉपरेट नहीं करते हम यू नो ड्राइवरी मैं उसको ज्यादा ब्लेम करता हूँ देन द प्राइव टेकर सो एज अ पुलिस मैन You will have a huge challenge. All of us have forgotten that we are public servants. Sir, so, yes. It's not. It's yes, a, sir. It's very. Ab tab pata chalega ki kabi nahi aana chahoge. If you want to really become servant, but if you want to become master, be become a politician, become a, a civil servant, become a, uh, same on us. But I am very proud that I was in civil service. एंड मैंने अपने रिटायरमेंट के दिन कहा था कि अगर मुझे दोबारा मौका मिलेगा लाइफ में या दूसरी लाइफ में आई अगेन बिकम सिविल एंड आई विल आई विल नॉट बी अ पावर सेंटर अगर आप पे ये मोटिवेशन है यू नो एंड एंड मैन यू ऑल ऑफ अस यू नो ये नहीं कि एक दो करने से तो वो वो हमसे कोई बात नहीं करता पागल है कहता है then we become yes. directed as fascinated uh, or but this ah wo to hamesha negative bolta hai but civic sense and rule of law is must for this country come on sir, i think we can ask yeah, a question from I sir i want to speak something muskan to real muskan de di muskan has spoken uh, you know you have crap sir i think that is bad variety of life on earth variety sabko bolna chahiye chaliye नीलिमा जी प्रॉमिस करिए पोस्ट लॉकडाउन आई कम ओवर वील ऑल डिस्कस इट टुगेदर हैव अ चैट सर प्लीज प्लीज आई आस्क वन क्वेश्चन हु इज द लेट लेट्स बी द लास्ट दिस इज द लेट इज द लास्ट सर आई वांट टू से समथिंग हु हु आर यू टेल मी सुखमिंदर आई रियली वांट टू आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन मे सर आई एम गुरनूर आ आ Sir, 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 I would just wanted to know about your experience as an uh, as an officer. Very pleasing, you know. Whatever I I did, uh, whatever I could do in my uh, individual uh, capacity uh, in a system, you know, you can you can. I mean, you can. Uh, I'm very proud of what I did, and, and that's why I said I would again uh, would. Yeah. Would like to serve this country. That is, sir, it is quite inspiring. So, what if I I become that? What if I become that? What See, do you think? Where I I think you have, you have to ensure rule of law and uh, and and nothing else. A rule of law. Once once a, a law is set, don't discriminate. Yes, sir. Okay. sir. I want to say something. Of course, I, I disturbed you a lot. <laughs> But thank you so much for giving your precious time to me. Pleasure, all the very best, you, you yeah, champions, you prospectors. Sir, you are great, sir. Thank you, sir. Great, sir. All of you, all of you. Thank you, sir. Sir, please give a chance. Thank you, sir. Please give a chance. Thank you, sir. Please give a chance. Please realize it. Realize it. Sir, I want to say something. I want to say something. I, I told all of you that. Mr. Pandey is a doer. So, if you want to become an IAS officer, you have to be like him. He is also a very hard worker. I remember when we were working together for the meeting of the conference of parties in India. We know we all used to go to bed at around eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock, and Mr. Pandey would be there awake all the night. I also remember that when we were in Japan together. there was a time when he used to participate in the meetings we used to reach the venue at 9 o'clock he would always be there till by 8 in the morning and in the night 
he used to tell all the women can leave at eight o'clock, but he used to sit there in the meeting along with Mr. Faruqi. He was also an IAS officer till one a.m. in the morning. So, if you want to become an IAS, then you have to be ready for this. You have to be ready You have to be ready for this, and we yes, need people like you. Ma'am, no problem. Yes, Excuse me, sir. sir for our country, we can do anything. Sir, Mustafa, so I would request Dr. Grover to please wind up and let's have a virtual clap for Mr. Pandey. Everybody, I want to hear claps. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you, and my special thanks to our IT team uh, for bringing all of us. Why can I give thanks to this? Thanks. Please and my and please mute the mic. I thank you all. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Can we leave? Now? Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Join us tomorrow. Join us tomorrow. We have another webinar. Same time. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.